Hi, boys and girls. Nice to see you again. Hello. Here we are at church wishing, so wishing you were here. It would be um, more fun. It would be more fun. More and, fun. And next week we are planning that they can be here. That's right. And uh, we have a fun little uh, craft lined up for you to do. So right. hope to see you next week. Yes, that would be good. Kids, tonight we're still on the creation story. Before we uh, started taping, I was saying to Angie, I'm glad that we did this because it has made me um, think about the creation and just be more aware of all the things that are around, like looking at different sizes of snowflakes. And even today, the little, the little uh, sleet things yeah. came down. Just yeah. Right. And so that's like a snowflake in a different form. And then I saw, I can't remember how it's made. It's the ice particles in the sky and the sun is shining through them. Oh, the sun dogs. The sun dogs. There were sun dogs on each side of the sun as I came I into mean, town. And I thought, wow, God made that too. God made that too. Not only the great big rainbows after the rainstorms, right. but... Yeah, in the he ice and the cold, we still see a little rainbow. Yep, he's, he, he made it, it to just, cover the ice and the snow yeah, too, didn't he? Yeah. So we have it in the warm and we have it in the cold. But there's just a lot of things. But the, the um, story that they wrote for uh, the day six and day seven, I think I'm going to read that to you because they've done a very good job and... It's, it's a good thing to listen to. And if you, if you have your Bibles, if you want to look it up, it's in Genesis chapter 1. We're still in chapter 1. And we are going to read from verse 24 in chapter 1 of Genesis. Genesis is the first book in the Bible, if you've forgotten. And this is what it says. God said, Let the land produce every kind of living creatures. Let there be livestock and creatures that move along the ground and wild animals. And that's exactly what happened. God made every kind of wild animals. We were talking about the dinosaur. Mm -hmm. He made that too. Think of that. He made every kind of livestock. Okay, think of all the livestock. Lambs, goats, cattle, Pigs. horses pigs, lambs, it goes chickens. on, chickens, it goes Dogs. on and on. Now, do on they fall into the bird category or do they fall into the livestock category? They are in the <laughs> bird category. Okay, so they got made the day before, yes, created the day before. So they were already there. So anyway, he made every kind of livestock and he made every kind of creature that moves along the ground. And here comes this saying again, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make human beings so that they are like us. Let them rule over the fish in the seas and the birds in the air. Let them rule over the livestock and all the wild animals. Let them rule over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created human beings in his own likeness. He created them to be like himself, and he created them as a male and a female. God blessed them. I think that is just so beautiful. God blessed the male and the female, the first male and female that he made. He blessed them. And he said to them, have children, so that there will be many of you. Fill the earth and bring it under your control. Rule over the fish in the seas and the birds in the sky. Rule over every living creature that moves along the ground. Then God said, this is to the male and the female, the man and the woman that he made. I am giving you every plant on the face of the whole earth that produces its own seed. I am giving you every tree that has fruit with seeds in it. All of them will be given to you for food. 
I am giving every green plant as food for all the land animals and for all the birds in the sky. I am also giving the plants to all the creatures that move along the ground. I am giving them to every living thing that breathes. And that's exactly what happened. God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. There was evening, and there was morning, and it was day six. So the heavens and the earth and everything in them were complete. They were all created. By the seventh day, God had finished his work that he had been doing. And so on that day, he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Have you ever heard those words before? Hmm. He blessed it because on that day, he rested from all the work he had done. How beautiful. How beautiful. Whew, that was a lot of work. That's a lot of work. That's to a even, lot of work. I can't even think it's, about it it's, all. It's too much almost to think about right. it. But right. We're, we're going to try to break it down a little bit. Yes. So the first thing God said is, let the land produce every kind of living creature. Mm -hmm. So now God's creating life on the land. Last time he made the birds in the air and the fish and see. things in the, in the water. water. Mm -hmm. So now he's talking about the livestock, which we mm -hmm. talked about a little. Mm -hmm. Creatures that move along the ground. I suppose that's maybe like little lizards sure. and, and um, spiders, mm -hmm. um, things like that. Mice. Mice. <laughs> And wild animals. And wild animals, too. Like the tigers and lions right, and bears, right, you know. Right, mm -hmm. And wild animals, yep, yep. He, and, and notice that he didn't just say, let there be animals. Right. He, he said, let there be livestock, right. the ones that can be domesticated, we mm -hmm. call it, that they, you know, we can tame and, and work with. Mm -hmm. Nor, you know, I guess you do that with circus animals, too, but that are right. normal to... Right. Have right. like on a farm right. or something right. like that. Yes. Like the horses can help with many things. Right. Like eventually plowing land and right. all this kind of right. helping you get from one place to another. The Not sheep can provide wool. Clo yes. And the yes. cows yes. milk. Yes. yes. Goats yes. milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there was a purpose for all of those things that Absolutely. he made. I'm not sure what the purpose was for the critters on the ground, all of them. What the spiders what, what their original purpose was, I don't know. When I, I still don't really know what their purpose when is. When I get to heaven, I'm going <laughs> to have to have a little conversation, if I can. Why the fly? Why the mosquito? Or the mosquito. Why? What did they have to do with this? I don't know. But be that as it may, God had a purpose, and we just... Um, and you notice that yeah. he said that he gave them all the green plants to eat. Yes. So does that mean mosquitoes ate plants first? They would have to. They have. almost had to, right? Bees flies. Would yeah, at least yeah. bees have a purpose. Right, with, right. With the honey. With the honey. And they pollinate mm -hmm. the flowers. Mm -hmm. So we need that. But yeah, I I don't I don't he, know. He, and he, he must have had a reason. He must have had a reason, and he really wasn't very specific. He didn't say about those. He didn't say anything about insects. No. He did not. I just kind of lumped that in they, with the, the ground animals. Ground animals, maybe. Yep. I don't know. So, I don't know either. And skunks, did they smell pretty first? I don't know. I doubt it. Or did it smell pretty to people? It was the same smell, but maybe our sense of smell changed, changed later? I don't know. After we sinned? After God, Adam sinned? I don't know. In all, in all fairness, they're pretty. They are the pretty. Black and animal, black they and white are. We animals. have them at our house, and the babies are kind of cute. cute. Yes, we've had that too. Don't tell my husband I no. said that. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. We're not going to go near them either, are we, kids? No, 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 because no, no, no. they spray. And no, yeah, yeah, it's we're a bad not smell. Do that. You look at those in a book. Yes, but <coughs> they, 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 they're fun to watch, kind of. They, they are. They're noisy when they eat. Yes. Because we, we throw cat food out for our cats, and then when the cats are done, then the skunk will come and eat sometimes. Mm -hmm. And if I have my window open, I can hear him, him crunching. Crunch. Yep. <laughs> They're noisy yep. eaters. They're noisy eaters. So anyway. We digress. It's, it, yes, we do. It is, it is just something that, 
God can say, let there be animals. And he, he made so many kinds. We could be here for an hour listing all the things. And yeah, you kids can go on Google and probably right, find, right. find all. on and on and on and on and on. There are so many, but yeah, we can just think of the ones that are important to us right now, and that's the livestock that we either have on the farms or in Iowa, we're blessed with so many of those yep. kind of things. Yep. But I mean, there were buffalo, there were the mm -hmm. deer, mm -hmm. there, just think, it yeah. goes, you don't have to take very long, a couple seconds, and you just take your, let your mind wander, and you can think about all the many other places rabbits could go and either way either they way could be domestic or they could yeah you can eat them and you can also use the fur mm. that rabbit pelts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah and there's mink and there's mm -hmm. it, just, it goes yeah. on, it, and and on, on and on and on yeah yeah it, it blows your mind right and and no wonder he wanted to rest but that that's later on that's later on yep so he's got all these things now, the wild animals, he's got the livestock, and he's got all the creatures. And so then what is the next thing he decides to do? Well, he decided it was good. That, that is was right. good. That it was, and it was good. Yes. Pretty soon we're going to come to another phrase. Yeah. Yeah. Be w listening for that. Yes. And then, then after that, God said, let us make humans like us. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we thought, I thought God was the only person or being here, and now all of a sudden he says, let's make human beings like us. Okay, who's us? Who else is there with him? Mm -hmm. hmm? I think this is probably the first mention of what we call the Trinity mm -hmm. in the Bible, and it's mm -hmm. in Genesis 1. Right. It's never actually called the Trinity in the Bible, but God is alluding to God himself is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And three things like that is called a trinity. Right. If you think of a tricycle, it has three wheels. If you think of a triangle, it has three corners. Mm -hmm. And so the trinity starts with T-R-I, and it has three persons in it, three holy persons. Mm -hmm. So we believe that he... Just because we don't see Jesus or the Holy Spirit until later in the Bible doesn't mean that they weren't there, because were it there. says that they they, they were. were there. I believe they, they were there were for there. create you know mm -hmm. creation the whole time. <clears throat> we just don't hear about them until later. So they always have been, they are now, they always will be three in one. Mm -hmm. That's just a hard thing to try to think about, but we believe it. It's kind of like Grandma Jan. Grandma Jan was a nurse. Mm -hmm. She was a mom, or is a mom, mm -hmm. and she's a sister. Mm -hmm. So she's three things, in one. all in Grandma Jan. Mm -hmm. So that's one way to kind of think of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. where why God said, "Let us make human beings in our image, that they're like us." Okay. Because mm -hmm. that kind of throws you for a little loop when you read that, and you're also like, "Wait, wait a minute, who else is here?" Okay, but okay. then you read that. And you think of all the different kinds of people in the world. Yes. So is God brown? Is he white with blue eyes like we are? Is he uh, with slanted eyes? Is he large? We're when small. we have very small people like pygmies, they're very small. Right. Right. So how did that happen? Did God delegate to, did one of the three delegate to each other or did they sit down and have a conference and say, okay, I'll make the little people, you make these people, and I'll make these. But we'll all make them alike, like you were baking different kinds of cookies. Right. <laughs> they have different ingredients. They have different, and yet they're alike. And yet they're alike. Right. So I don't know. Won't that be interesting? Yes. To find that out when we all get to heaven. Because not, well, I mean, we're talking about making, creating the human beings here, but, and it does say a little later on in Genesis that God um, made more people. And of course, okay, I won't yes. be able to find yes. that now. Yes, but after Adam and Eve had their children. Yes. Yeah, and out of them they made Yes, made more so more people, people were crea yes. created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, I mean, you can just turn this globe and... People look different in the United States than they do in South America. 
Some look different in Africa than they do in South America and even in Russia and whatever. Mm -hmm. they, they, we're more blended today, but, right. but when it started, yeah, okay, it was... who made the Indian colored people? The, the reddish colored, and we're very white, and the, the Negroes or the black people, yeah, okay, we have a whole variety yes. of things, just like the plants, yeah. just like the just, livestock. Yeah, except we're different. We're different, yes. We are different, yes. mm -hmm. because animals can't really make a decision. Right. They, they may make a quick decision of whether they want to do something or not, if they want to run this way or run that way, or you know what they're going to eat, if they want to eat or not, or something. But they can't plan things like people can, or yeah, like people can. They, they can't reason, right. um, think things through, think through wrong and right. Um, what else? What else they, is they different? They can't decide what to do tomorrow. Right. Sometimes I can't either. No, that's right. <laughs> and, and I don't know. Do they do they know right from wrong like we are supposed to right. know right from wrong? I right. think that's another uh, part of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we God put us as number one because we have the the ability to know right from wrong. Right, we can plan for tomorrow. We know what's good for us. Animals can't supply their own food. Right. 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 They, they, can't, they can't necessarily take care of themselves. Right. Totally. Totally. Yes. Yeah. If they if, if they're wild animals, of course, sure. they're where they have they have wild. I mean, in mountains, there's mountain goats sure. that take care of themselves. They, sure. they do. But they find shelter. Mm -hmm. They do that kind of thing where the domesticated animals like the horses and cattle and stuff we have. We provide for that for the most part. Right. And. In that, vein, in, in that way, you kids can see what God intended for us to do with right. the animals. To take care of them. To take care of them, yes. Yep. You know what? I, well, it doesn't really say in here, but it doesn't. We, we need to talk about God said, let's make human beings. But how did he do that? He took some dust, dust. and he... Water. Maybe water. I don't know. Made something. Clay. And then he breathed life into it. And mm -hmm. here was a human being. With bones and skin. And a soul. And a soul. And that makes us different from yes, the animals absolutely. as well. That's probably the biggest difference. difference mm -hmm. is that we have a soul. And we can't see it in us. It's nope. in there. It's what makes us us. Yes. It's what we believe and... Um, when we die, that soul goes to heaven. Hopefully, if you believe in Jesus, it will go to heaven. Mm -hmm. And the animals don't have that. Mm -hmm. They can't make a decision to follow Jesus right. like we that's can. That's the thing. That's the thing. So mm -hmm. that's what's very important. Mm -hmm. and, I believe that. And then, so God had brought all these animals to this man. And what a job he had to do. He had to name all those animals. How do you come up with that many different names? Did they parade in front of him? <laughs> I don't know. When you think about all the animals that God created, this came to me today too, all the animals that God created, where did you start? Where did you start, how, how do you, man? Yeah, even Where did think you of start? words to... I couldn't even think of... No, no, and... It, how many days did that take? But then there wasn't any hurry. No. What there else did he have no to do? There was no time schedule. No. He could name five a day if he wanted to. He could name 50 a day if he wanted to. Maybe he looked at them and saw something in their character or how they walked or whatever. And so they called him that. Maybe, maybe he said to the panther, you know, you go over there. You look like this striped animal. Mm -hmm. Tiger, you go over there. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, a yellowish brown mm -hmm. one. I mm -hmm. think I'll call it a lion. You go over there with that group. Not uh, to mention the sizes. Yeah, and, and then there's and a, here's a little kitty. Ki kitties, you know, mm -hmm. your little house cats. You go over there too. Mm -hmm. You're kind of in yep. that group. Okay, and then there's a thing I'm going to call a donkey. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. It, you go over there, mm-hmm. and this horse kind of looks like you. You yeah. go over there. A zebra. Zebra. <laughs> right? Just think of that, kids. It's, it's mind-boggling, but it's worth you thinking about. And it's you just, know what? It's not a test. God's no. not going to say you're saying it wrong. No, or no. He, no. He, I, I think God would be very happy that we're, just we're thinking musing about it. over this yes. and thinking about what he did because he appreciates it when we realize what an awesome God he is. Yes, he he made us and the world for his enjoyment. Yes. So that he could bless it. So yes, yes, it gives him pleasure to see us enjoying and thinking about these things. Absolutely. So he named all these animals, but you know what? There still wasn't one that could be a partner with him. He was still the only human being. Mm -hmm. And guess what God said? He's always been saying, this is good. Mm -hmm. But this time, he says, this is not good. Mm -hmm. This is not good that this man is alone. alone. He needs somebody. He needs a helper. Mm -hmm. So how did he do that? Another one from the dust? Probably. Probably. And he formed it in different ways. They both have hearts, but then there's different parts. Yes. Yes. And so there that is. That's how you have the male and female. But by the same token, uh, the Bible tells us that he took part of Adam to go into Eve. And what about that? Well, I hope I hope he was sleeping or something. Probably. Because that Probably. would kind of hurt if you took, somebody took a so. part of me and would made somebody so. new out of it. But yeah, there you go. So that's how God did that. Um, and we'll learn more about that later. Okay. Is that right? We're okay. going to do yep. that? Yep. Yep. So yes, he says, he says to himself when he saw the man and the woman, he blessed them. Yes. He blessed them. And this time he said, this is good very this is good good yes very good so that makes me happy that god was pleased yeah with the man and the woman and he gave them jobs he gave them duties duties work right they work. had to work yes and it was a good thing it was, there was a nothing good wrong thing. with the work no the first the first job the man had was to name the animals Name the animals. But then when God saw he needed a little help there, he sent the female, made the female, whatever. And so then God is telling them that he wanted them to know for sure that they were supposed to rule over everything. To take care of everything. Yes. But not like a harsh ruler. Like No. Bum, 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 no, bum, bum. no, or no hurting no, animals. No, mean, no, no. Mm-mm. And you need to take care of those that need to take care of, need to be taken care of. Some animals do, some yep. don't. Yep. Some in the wild can take care of themselves. And yeah, uh, we cannot, we cannot um, afford to be wasting food even right. today. God said, I made all these plants for you, but you can't waste. You're not to waste. And so, even like when, if thinking about wasting, you know, the paper products come from trees. Yes. And so many, oftentimes, we grab paper towels or, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe a napkins, a handful, you know, and then we use one and throw the rest away. Amen. But you know what? That that is being wasteful of it the is. trees. Yep. Because how long does it take to grow a tree and then it's cut down and turned into paper, only for us to grab it and throw it away? Mm-hmm. So we have to be very careful about those types of things yes, as we well. Do. You know, be conscious of of what we're doing. I think most trees that are turned into paper probably take close to twenty years. As I say, it's it. You can't just plant a tree and no. and next and week have, have a tree tree no. tree. tree. No. No, no, it doesn't work it that is. way. So anyway, there there was that. So and and the green God gave them everything green, plants green mm-hmm. to eat. Mm-hmm. The tr- the trees that had plants, tr- trees that had plants, <laughs> trees fruit. that had fruit with seeds in them, they could eat. Mm-hmm. And 
let's see. What else did he say? Every plant on the face of the whole earth that produces its own seeds. Mm -hmm. I'm giving every tree that has fruit with seeds in it. All of them will be given to you for food. And he, we, we, we presume that the animals probably ate plants as well. Sure. We're not real sure, but. They do today, so why wouldn't they have been? So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them still do. Mm -hmm. Some of them sure. are more meat eaters. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, um, and that shows that God has everything in order. He had this all planned out. Mm -hmm. he, he created the trees with the fruit and the seeds so that man could eat them and replant the seeds and grow more and, and the people could have babies and, and have more people and they could plant more trees. And mm -hmm. So he had that all lined up. It was, it was not just chaos that, no. oh, this would no. be a good idea. Yeah. We, we were talking the, about his garden. We wondered if the garden had the carrots already to pull out. Did they already have the tomatoes on the vine for them to eat? Did they have the potatoes that they had to dig up? Dig out. Were the green beans ready to go? Mm -hmm. um, we don't know that. Do and we? how did they know what, what part we, of the plant to eat? Because he told them to go eat, go eat it. The, but do you eat the leaves or do you eat the green beans? Well, you, how do you know which I, one is the good part? That part of it, I don't know. But I mean, he told. How do you know you're supposed to eat the orange part of the carrot, not the green stuff on top? Yeah, how do we know that? Well, there's carrot greens that they. Hmm. But yeah, it's it's a it's something to just think about and just wonder how that all came about. I don't know. Yep, he 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 wanted the man to know too that the animals were could eat the meat. I mean, could eat the could plants. Eat the plants and yes. everything that was there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. And when God saw all that, here again, he said, it was very, very good. good. Very, very good. Very good. Yes, yes. He, he was proud of what he had done, not proud in an arrogant type no, of no, way, no, but no. pleased, yes. kind of proud. But it really wasn't complete until, until he had the man and the woman there, and he had given them the authority to rule and take care, care of, of the whole mm -hmm. garden. Right. And, and then so, what happens? Well, there was morning and night and morning That's again. That's right. And there was another night and a morning again. And now we are on day seven. Hmm. Day seven. After hmm. five, six, six, six very busy days. And they didn't get easier. They got harder. No, they got I'm harder, thinking, more complex as each day so. came Every, along. Each day got more and more and more, just day and night. That was one thing. But right. then we go further and further, the land and the sea, and then the birds and the fish. And yeah, yep. it kept going. It got harder. And then when he had to make the man and the woman, that would have been something too. And it, yeah, it, I'm sure he was very pleased with what he did. He said so. He said so. He said so. Yep. That he was. He was happy with what he had made. But, yeah, he said it was all very good. And now this is something, it's, it's hard to believe that God chose to rest. But on the other hand, when it was all done, what more did he have to do? <laughs> it was probably nice to just sit back or hover over or whatever Remember, God did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just enjoy, sit back and enjoy and at, what yeah, he did. Yeah. Did no. he did he look at the galaxies of stars? I'm sure he did. Did he did he take a a, a, a little vacation on the moon? Did he Probably. sit there and just look at out at everything else? I mean he didn't literally have to sit, but is no. that what he did? Or did he chose choose to come to earth somewhere and just see the, like maybe he chose Hawaii. It's beautiful yeah. there. Yeah. Maybe he just decided he wanted it warm and just was going to be very relaxed there and just enjoy uh, some time away from working so hard. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so if he needed to do that, does that say? Well, we he needed to. Yes. Do we have to be workaholics? No. No. It is not good for us to work all, all the, the time. time. No, it isn't. Some no. of us have a hard time acknowledging that. Yes, we do. We, but we, we do need rest. We do. We do. And there, um, this is way, way kind of off, but they're saying now, too, that kids who are home, 
looking at their computers all the time. They need, need to take rest. a break. You need to take a break from that because, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if God, you know, we know he did not need to take a rest. Right. God does not get tired. No. no. But what if he did it to set an example for us because right. he knew we would get tired yep. and we needed to have a break. Yes. So he set the example way back then of this is what you need to do. You may work these six days, but you're going to need a day of rest. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you how to do, do it. This. Yes. Right. You know? I think there's some wisdom in that and we, we ought to uh, learn from that. Learn from that. And if, if it's something that you do on Sundays, whatever, even during the day, you need to take a break. Take a break. For somebody like me, it's having a cup of coffee somewhere <laughs> in the middle of the day, in the afternoon or whatever, you know, um, and getting up and walking around or doing something different than what you're doing. I think that's what he, he really, he yeah, really It meant. doesn't mean you have to go in your bed and go no, to sleep. No, 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 uh -uh. no, no, not at all. Yes. Although that is what I like to do, but <laughs> <laughs> well, that's we're, my favorite way of resting. We're, we're, we're learning sometimes just a couple hours away with some just good friends is a good is thing. A right, good Angie? thing to, for refreshment. It's a yes. good thing. Yes. yes. It's yes. a great we, thing. Yep. Yeah. Go, go find some good food to eat or yeah, whatever. If it's, it's just doing it's good. something, make it a point. He made it a point to, to do to, it yes. after six days of labor. Yes. So make it a point to do something that's relaxing and maybe different. even yeah, time of COVID, it's maybe a staycation. A, yes, at it home. is. Yes, you it know, is. Find yep. time with your family to yes. spend some time together. Yep. You know? But. I mean, you can find very good movies on on all these networks. Dig out the old board games. There's that. There's that challenge your mind that way. Yes. Yes, and that uh, doesn't hurt um, at all. Or just sit and talk. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's that's kind of fun because you get off on things you never would talk about otherwise. Right. But right. You know, put some I, subjects in a in uh, a piece of paper on in a hat and pull something out and start talking about it. How about this? How about that? That's how a great thing. This? this was something that you uh, found online that Angie. Um, put on there. And I just told her before we started that if I was in my class, I would have everybody pick out one of these words that you had to unscramble, like darkness, animals, heaven, earth, stars, birds, fish, and light. And I would ask each one to tell me something about that word in connection with creation. See now, there's a, a, a conversation starter conversation for you right there. Conversation starter right there, and it's not hard. And if you've been listening at all, and even if you haven't, you know something about the creation story, yes. and you can say that. If you want to get specific, you can try to say, what day was that created? Hmm. Out of the six. So there you go. There's that's, a little a family good. activity, and I can see that taking a little. You could talk about the birds, the multiple kinds of birds. Animals, that's a forever topic. Yes. Okay. Heaven, okay, what happened in the heaven? What did he do with the heaven? Oh, the light and the dark. Light and the dark. That. And he put the birds up there. Yep, so, and he put so clouds he, up there. And the clouds and up there. And sun dogs. And sun dogs, yes. Rainbows. And the rest of the, the, the sun, the moon. All of that's up there. So there you go. That would be fun. That, that, that's I a think good, it would be a good thing. Might even absolutely. have to do that with Braxton and Bell and see what they say. And and I think, speaking of Braxton and Bell, yeah. maybe um, we had a little help doing <laughs> our, our yeah. worksheets, our Worksheet. coloring sheets. Yep, we did. Bella Again. did this one. All right. I did that one. Okay. Yep. And those other worksheets, they're worth it too, kids. Take the time to do it. This one was hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> Another I thing have, to do as a family, maybe? Yes, you might have to, or uh, maybe copy off a few other sheets and see who gets it done first. Oh, it there's took a an idea. There's the maze idea. wasn't so bad. That wasn't okay. bad. This, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's under and over and around and through. I'm going to tell you in <laughs> advance. So anyway. And I don't have my copy of the little coloring book with me right oh, here. Oh, I do. Um, there's that, too. Yep. You can finish that finish up. Finish that up, yep. I have days six and seven, and I think there's something about him resting mm -hmm. on the end. Disease. Yes, God rested. Mm -hmm. And on the on the sixth day, there's the animals. He made so, God made the animals and man. Got a big elephant on there. So what what I 
It's uh, a funny man. I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, we don't know. <laughs> it looks like a clown. You know, we, we okay. presume the first man looked like us. We all think yeah. that. Everybody yeah. thinks that. Yeah. So, but we don't yeah. really know, we don't know what color hair and skin and eyes that <laughs> and that it's man okay. had. It's, it's yeah. okay. It it's is fine. Okay. Um, so, so to begin to end it all, to end it all, God blessed his day of rest. Yes. And he took it and he enjoyed his creation and found a lot of pleasure in the things that he had made. Right. And the idea is for us to return the, the awesomeness and the thanks, the gratitude for him doing all of that and placing us here. And that will please him too. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. That's that. So a couple other things that are in the packet that hopefully mom or grandma or an adult has set aside for you. There's a word search that says Adam and Eve were called to rule creation. And we talked about that, how they're supposed to rule creation, but um, not abusively, right. not strictly, um, but in a pleasant, caring way. Caring way mm -hmm. Yes. Here's mm -hmm. another one. Um, Adam and Eve were called to rule creation. This one's um, got some hidden pictures in it. I didn't have a chance to color these, but Ooh, um, there's okay. a lot of fun things in that one to to find, and I don't. Okay. I think one of them is a horseshoe, and I'm not sure that was on the original list of created things. So <laughs> these might be some things that came along later. later. Mm -hmm. And there's just another picture of how God made the world. I forgot to put cheetahs in the cat category a while ago, uh -huh. and it says, "What is something God made that you are glad for?" Hmm. I think about that. That's a conversation mm, starter, too. Yes. And there's some more hidden pictures. God made animals. So there's all kinds of fun things to do. And we have one more fun thing, but we're going to wait until after our next segment to, to do that. Um, first, there's going to be another video. It's like the one that we watched a couple of weeks ago. It's put on by the same company or group of people. And it's got the creation song in it again, the one, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six seven. seven. And so you'll get to do that. And it talks about um, creation and how God rested at the end. And so you watch that, and then we're going to come back and um, do one more little fun thing before we go tonight. Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Nellie. And we are so excited that you joined us today because we are talking about God's amazing creation. Ooh, that does sound exciting. Amy, what did God make? God made so many amazing things, and we're going to learn about those things together. Let's start by singing a song. Oh, I love songs! Me too! So let's all stand up. And let's sing a super amazing song! We're going to sing the creation song. We're going to start by counting from one to seven and moving our arms like this. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day and he made the night. On day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue and way up high. Whoa. You hear you say, whoa. Whoa. Day number three. On day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. He put the sun in the sky, super duper far. Whoa. Sing out those woes. Whoa. Sing God made you. Dolphins and whales and things that go squish On day number six, God made animals and bugs Foxes and cubs, all for us to hug Whoa. You hear those wolves? Whoa. Sing day number six On day number six, God also made man He said it was good and part of his plan On day number seven, God stopped to rest He saw what he made, it was his best Whoa. Sing out those wolves God made you. God made you and God made me. He made everyone and everything we see. He made the earth and he made the heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
Wow, that was great that we got to worship God together. You can all sit down now. Yeah, that was so fun. Now I am really excited to learn about the amazing things God has made. Oh, well, you're in luck because it's time for us to watch our Bible story about all the things that God made. Woohoo! Let me get my listening ears. And? And my thinking cap. Great. Kids, put on your listening ears and your thinking cap too, and let's watch our Bible story. Yeah. Stories of the Bible. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark, but the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep. And while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Hello. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea. Hello, Will. The birds in the sky. Hello, bird and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food, and I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work, and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Wow, wow, wow! So you're telling me that God made everything in the whole entire earth? Yep. He made all my favorite things? Yeah, he did. He made you and me? Yes, he did. And isn't God amazing? Yes, God is amazing. And after God made all those things, he said they were very good. How do you know that? Because our Bible verse tells us that. Our Bible verse is Genesis 1:31. What does it say? God looked over all that he had made and he saw that it was very good. Oh, well, I think God is right. I like all the things he made. <laughs> Me too. So let's remember that verse by singing it. Good idea. Let's all stand up together and sing Genesis 1:31. All right, can you guys all stomp your feet like elephants? 
Good job. This song is Genesis 131, and we're going to sing God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was good. So you guys, let's sing it out together. Are you ready? Here we go. learning that verse through singing and dancing. You can all sit down. I love all the things God made. You know, I want to go outside and see all of God's creation right now. I got an idea. We should go to Scup and Scout Camp. Oh, I've always wanted to go to camp. Well, let's go together and we can learn about the amazing things that God made from our other Scuppet friends and Pastor Steve. Oh, yes, let's do that. So everyone put on your Scuppet Scout thinking cap. Got it. And your Scuppet Scout listening ears. Got them. And let's go to Scuppet Scout Camp. Yippee! Hi, Scuppet Scouts! I'm Zara! And I'm Pastor Steve. And Zara, it's time for our Scuppet Scout salute. Oh, oh! Two claps and then howl like a wolf! That's right. Let's do it. Ready? Ow! Ow. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm really sorry. I'm so sleepy. Oh, well, that's good. Why is that good? Because today I'm trying to get my sleepy time patch. Oh, that's a good one. So, uh, Pastor Steve, can you help me? What do I do? Well, to get your sleepy time patch, you have to rest just like God did. Okay, um, how do I do that? Well, on the seventh day of creation, God rested. And to rest means to slow down and to be quiet for a while. See, after God finished all of his work creating the earth and everything in it, he stopped and he rested. There are lots of ways that we can rest, but how do you rest, Zara? Oh, um, I take a nap. Okay, great. Well, to get your sleepy time patch, you have to take a nap. Oh, okay, well, I'll take a nap. Okay, but before you do, it's good to take some time and to think about all the things that God made. Um, okay, well... I like that um, God made the sun. I love the sun because it's yellow like me. And oh, I also uh, thought that God made the birds. And I love the birds as they chirp and sing. Hmm. All right, we have to be very quiet so we don't wake up Zara. We know that on the seventh day, God rested and God wants us to take a day each week to rest. See, God wants us to stop, to spend time with Him, and to think about Him and all the things that He made. Can you remember all the things that God made? You remember on day one, God made the light. And on day two, God made the sky. And on day three, God created the dry land and He created the seas. On day four, God made the sun, the moon, and the stars. On day five, God made the birds and all the creatures in the sea. Then on day six, God created man and he created the animals. And I'm awake! <laughs> Did you have a good nap? Yeah! I had a dream about, oh, the moon and the stars and, oh, Pastor Steve, the cutest little furry animals. Oh, Zara, that's great. You were dreaming about God's creation. Well, <laughs> congratulations, Zara. You have earned your sleepy time patch. <gasps> Yippee! <laughs> so whenever you look at this patch, you remember that God wants you to rest and to remember Him. I can do that. And for all of you Scuppet Scouts out there, remember that God made you and that He loves you very much. And so do we. <laughs>
So we'll see you next time, Scuppet Scouts. You ready to do the salute? Uh -huh. Let's do it. Ow! Wow, I love Scuppet Scout Camp. Do you think I could get a Scuppet Scout patch like they did? I think we all can, but it's going to be a challenge. Really? Yeah, but we can do it together. How? Well, we are going to meet up with Zara, and she's going to see what we learned at Scuppet Scout Camp. Ooh. If we pass a test, we can get a Scuppet Scout patch of our own. Oh, great. I'm ready. Then let's all go to the river, because it's time for Zara's Canoe Challenge. Hi, I'm Scuppet Scout Zara. <laughs> let's do our Scuppet Scout salute. Are you ready for Zara's Canoe Challenge? Well then hop in my canoe and let's go! Today, we're trying to earn our ah, sleepy time patch. But we have to answer a few questions to get it. I'll ask you a question, and you're going to paddle to go left if you think the answer is over there, and paddle to go right if you think the answer is over there. Let's try a practice question first. Where is a good place to take a nap? Paddle to the right if you think you should take a nap in a cactus patch. Paddle left if you think you should take a nap in a soft, cozy bed. Good job, Scuppin' Scouts! <laughs> in a cozy bed is a way better place to take a nap than a pokey cactus patch. Ouch! Now let's go further down the river for our questions about God's amazing creation. Our first question is, after God created everything, what did he do? Paddle right if you think God ordered a pizza. Paddle left if you think God rested. Yay! <laughs> you got it right! On day seven, after God made everything, he rested. We made it to our next question. What does it mean to rest? Paddle right if you think to rest means to slow down and be quiet for a while. Paddle left if you think to rest means to jump up and down while bouncing a ball on your head. That's right. <laughs> to rest means to slow down and be quiet for a while. We've made it to our last question. Get this one right and you'll get your sleepy time patch. What does God want us to do on our day of rest? Paddle right if you think God wants us to just run around in circles till we get dizzy and fall over. Paddle left if you think God wants you to remember him. Whoa, nice paddling, Scuppet Scouts. That's right. God wants us to remember him on our day of rest. You did it, Scuppet Scouts! You have now officially earned your Scuppet Scout Sleepy Time Patch! Congratulations, Scuppet Scouts! Thanks for joining me for Zara's Canoe Challenge! <laughs> Nice job, everyone. I'm so glad that you learned so much about the amazing things that God made. Now remember, God made everything in the whole world. Yeah, he made the animals, the stars, the sky, the sea, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes, he did. And he also made you, and he loves you so very much. Mm -hmm. So remember that you are God's amazing creation, and he loves you. Oh, oh, and we love you too. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so did you enjoy the video? Is that fun? Did you get up out of your chair and do a little moving around with that one? I hope so. Um, I like that yellow, what is her name, Zahara or something like that. She's kind of funny, that one puppet. Yeah. Anywho, remember back at Thanksgiving, we did the ABCs of Thanksgiving, and Jan <laughs> and I tried to come up with things that we were thankful for with all the letters of the alphabet. So I have sent out to you... Um, the ABCs of creation, and it's got all different things that God created in here, but we're not going to look at it. <laughs> we're going to slide it away, <laughs> and we are going to try to come up with things that God created on our own 
as quickly as we can. How can I figure this out so you get Z Oh, dear. X. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can do Z, but X, I don't know. You're going to make me do Q again. I know oh, that. Oh, Q, there it is. <laughs> okay, see, there we go. Oh, my. Okay, oh. well, if you, let's see, there's even numbers. So if you start with A, I'll end up with Z, but that gives me a little time to think, think about, about it. The okay, so, so I'm supposed to start You start with, with a. a, something God created. Apples. Ooh, okay. That means I have B. Um, bees. Okay. C, cats. K, D. Um, what else besides animals? What else can we think of? Um, oh, I'm just going to have to go with dragonflies. Okay. E, elephants. F, uh, fruit. G, goats. Okay. I'm going to stay on the animals. That's easier for me. I can tell already. H, H. Um, oh. The heavens. Okay, right. H, I. Insects. Yeah. J. Um, um, oh, I can't even think of anything. A jungle. Oh, sure. Yeah. K. J. K. Um, kangaroos. That's a good one. L. Llamas. Mice. N. Um, an N. Let's see. Oh. N. I can't even think of anything. Mm. I have one. <laughs> N, N, N. You guys got to help me. Help me out here. I can't even think of an N. Nectar? Would that have been there? Sure. Okay. I was thinking of a nutcracker. Oh. <laughs> the bird. <laughs> okay, all right. Or nuts. Or nuts, <laughs> yes. Just oh, and they could eat those. Yes. Yes. Because those were plant. Yes. Yeah. And O, 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 opossums. Oh, oh yuck. <laughs> I don't want them. I was thinking octopus. Oh, okay. Well, that I wouldn't care for those either. Uh, a P. Uh, let's go with a pig. Oh, simple <laughs> one. A Q. Oh. Of a bird, a quail. There you go. Q R, uh, a rabbit. S. Oh, let me think. I want to think a minute. S. I can hear them hollering something, but I don't get it. What are they hollering at me? I don't know. Um, a stone. Oh, yes. We kind of got with the animals. We forgot about some of those things. Yes. We? S. A stone T. Um, hmm. Hmm. What's in the ocean? Let's see. What's in the ocean? T. Um, boy, I can't even think of an animal. I might have to cheat. Um, well, I'm thinking of it. We didn't talk about it at all, but there were four rivers. In the Garden of yeah. Eden mm -hmm. that God created, that Adam and Eve, the man and woman, lived in, and one of them was the Tigris River. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. So that's what I'm Good. thinking. Rivers tigers. And tigers. Well, how about <laughs> trees, Angie? Trees. <laughs> the Did obvious. We not talk about trees. <laughs> okay. So they're okay. T U urchin. Oh, okay. V. Um, oh, my. Volcanoes. Yes. V U V W. A warbler. Oh, I was thinking That's the a water. <laughs> yes, yeah, a little warbler. Mm -hmm. W X. Okay, <laughs> I got the X. <laughs> X ray fish. Yes. <laughs> okay, Y. A yak. Okay, and Z. I'm going to go with the obvious zebra yes. on that one. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't that fun? That was kind of fun. fun. You should and, try that. And you could do it again and say all different answers. All different. Uh, yep. And if yep. you if you give one that was given before, maybe you'll get a point taken away. I mm -hmm. don't know. That'd be good on a car ride. Yes. If you're going yeah. somewhere. Yep. Yep. All something, things something that God think created. About. And yes. you could probably look out the windows and try to figure figure yes. out what it is. Yes. Find so. things that start with those letters. Yes. Like trees, you might see one or two. <laughs> Who knew? Right. Birds, for sure, and horses, all those kind of things yes. in the field, or all kinds of livestock, so there that could yeah. be. So anyway, are we good?
We are very good. But we need to we need to remind them to come to church next yes. week at 6:30. 6 6:30 next Wednesday right. night, the 27th. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we will have for an hour. We will do some fun things, and um, we might pick up with the next part of this story that isn't just creation after that again. Mm -hmm. So. Um, mm -hmm. Stay tuned for that part, too. But, yeah, we look we forward to seeing you next week. Are, are we going to do something for Valentine's Day just to tease them a little? Ooh, we might. Could we do something for Valentine's Day? We could do something Day? for Valentine's Day. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? Yes. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll have you come next week and then in a couple of weeks again. Yeah. We can see how we this could, goes. We could see how it goes. We can see how this what goes. What COVID's doing. And, yep. and yep. maybe we could... Get you in here a couple times. That'd be yeah. kind of fun, wouldn't it? And then it won't be long, and we're done. I know. This is just mind-boggling to me. It's crazy. It is. And we it still is. have to somehow get in the fifth graders from last year, who are now sixth graders. We need to get them their graduation Bibles and their uh, certificates sometimes. So we may have to incorporate that into something some here, somewhere here at yeah. the end yet. Yeah. Some. Yeah. We, we don't want to forget about those yeah. guys. So. No. Um, we're, we're still thinking all these things through. It just yep. takes a while to get it off. It takes some time. Glad God made us so we can plan. Right, right, absolutely. We're, we're grateful for that. So yes. it's time to pray. It's time to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you so much for being such an awesome God and how you created all of these things. The word creation just takes on a different meaning for us when we really just take the time, our brains, use our brains that you created to help us enjoy and appreciate all the things around us that you gave us. And we could, we could be here for hours and never, never get them all listed because there are just so many things. We ask that you bless each one of us like you did in the creation days, the things that you saw that you made and you said they were good and then you bless them. We ask for a blessing too. We ask that you keep us healthy, keep us safe, keep us loving you more and more each day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen.